Well, some Americans decided to celebrate Independence Day in London, of all places. Many are visiting the home of founding father Benjamin Franklin today, where they are toasting to American freedom in his very living room. CBS 4's Jane Ferguson gives us a look inside. <laughs> It would be tough to find a 4th of July party with a more fitting location abroad. These American tourists have come to Benjamin Franklin's old house in London. Franklin lived here for 16 years before returning to America in 1775. The next year, he signed the Declaration of Independence. From this home in the heart of London, he lobbied the British government to give more rights to Americans who were paying taxes. This is really the eve of the American Revolution. This is where he's uh, fighting for the, the Stamp Act, taxation with re representation, very politically important years. <laughs> That's awesome. For Laura Smith and her husband, on vacation from Florida, understanding what took place here is important. They don't know at all. That's why I teach civics um, in Orlando, seventh graders. We mandated it in our state because Americans don't know anything about American history. After their history lesson, the Smiths are heading out to continue celebrating the 4th of July. Have a crown to wear in front of Buckingham Palace that's red, white, and blue. <laughs> Just to be silly. It took decades of painstaking work to restore Franklin's house. It's been so authentically preserved, movies are shot here. Jane Ferguson for CBS News, London.